Hey guys, how are you? David here from TechSocial.com and DDeFranco.com. I am once again recording with the Logitech HD Pro Webcam C910. Now tonight I've been having a few back and forth with back and forth blah, with Chris Perillo. You guys should all know him, um, as well as a few questions here and there ever since uploading my unboxing video of this uh, webcam. So I want to cover a few details, first impressions I'm going to call this video, um, just to give you guys my first impressions basically. And yes, I realize I do look very red, I'm going to talk about video quality first. First of all, this is what I look like with two lamps on out of three, and this is what I look like with my new desk lamp on. So as you can see, the lamp makes a huge difference, and this is a big lamp. This is technically a reading lamp, but this is awesome for unboxings. That way I can tilt it down and put it above the um, product and then unbox it for you guys with nice even lighting. And this is also great on my face. Now it's very blinding if I look at it obviously, but anyway, this video is not directly about the light. Uh, but as you can see, the colors look very rich in my opinion, um, especially my red shirt. The red is just glowing like a mother. Um, so, although I do honestly look a little overexposed but luckily this lamp is flexible so I can turn it any way I want anyway lighting aside let's talk about the rest of this uh, my um, first impressions so video quality is good overall it's definitely not amazing versus the face vision touch cam n1 it's really really hard to tell um, one thing I noticed one one con although this is definitely not a con to me at all because I'll be using my blue snowball when I do my live streams and whatever. Uh, but I noticed when the camera auto focuses while while using the onboard mic you can hear a slight click. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. It's really not loud at all but me being the OCD obsessed person I am uh, with video quality it's something I noticed right away. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, next up is audio quality in terms of the onboard microphones. Yes, microphones, I should say. These are stereo microphones, which is very nice. They sound okay. They could certainly sound much better. They might sound good enough for you if you're really not used to good good audio quality. But for me, I've been using the Blue Snowball for probably a couple years now, and I love it overall. So if I had to choose one or the other, definitely the Snowball. And next up is probably the most important part of all of this video. And that is, I look a little red here. Just as a warning, my skin might be blotchy because it's freaking warm in here and it's late, I'm tired. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Um, so let's talk about Mac support. Mac support is there, fortunately, because unlike the Face Vision Touch Cam N1, support practically, well, it sucked. It sucked big time. It was good enough for streaming, but in terms of HD recording, it just could not be done, um, at least in terms of my experience. So let's talk about the software <clears throat> that is included is fully Windows compatible, not Mac compatible. But don't freak out. Just go to Logitech. Actually, I just Googled it, just like everything else in my life. Just, just Google Logitech C910 Mac software. It's most likely the first link. Click that, download it. It works great, and I'm actually recording with it right now. Um, it gives you the option of recording in standard definition, 720p, and 1080p, which is pretty cool. Um, in terms of Apple software, QuickTime supports this camera, but not in HD, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. FaceTime, as somebody asked on Twitter earlier today, I'm sorry, I forget who it was exactly, but FaceTime does work perfectly. It does work. Um, iChat, it works beautifully. I actually had a chat with my good friends, David and Kyle, uh, the first day David his got web David got his webcam because um, we actually got the same webcams and it worked beautifully. The quality looked great. It actually looked better than the Face Vision Touch Cam N1. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And uh, next up is Photo Booth. Photo Booth, thank God, does work awesomely. Awesomely is that a word? Can you put L O Y on the end of awesomely? I don't know. Anyway. Um, with the Face Vision Touch Cam N1, Photo Booth worked with it. However, it would all okay. It would always squish the image. I believe this is wide angle. This is a wide angle um, widescreen, obviously. Hence, 720p you're watching right now. Uh, but in Photo Booth, it would always squish the Touch Cam N1. The software on the Mac, I guess the driver or maybe the hardware acceleration. I'm not sure which one. 
um, but it automatically tells Photo Booth to resize it to four by three. Um, it does not squish it, uh, which is awesome. So that's that's probably the most important thing to keep in mind that this webcam auto resizes. Again, whether it's the webcam and the software, I'm not really sure, but all I know is it works perfectly, which is great. And next up, Skype does work perfectly fine. And last but certainly not least, comes we um come down to iMovie 2011. iMovie 2011 doesn't work at all. It doesn't work at all. <laughs> um, the import function does not work at all. I repeat, it sucks. It does not work. Uh, whether that's Apple's fault or Logitech's fault, not really sure. Me personally, it doesn't matter because I record with this software, export, drop it into iMovie. So that function does work, so do not get me wrong. The files you record, well, the videos I just say, the videos you record with this webcam do work with iMovie. It just does not record directly within iMovie. So it works with iMovie, but not within iMovie, if that makes sense. Um, it's 1.30 in the morning here, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. And I hope I helped you or Chris Perla or anyone else interested in this webcam. It cost me about $75 on Amazon, which isn't bad. And I got free shipping because I'm an Amazon Prime member. That's not a plug for Amazon, but I will say Amazon Prime kicks ass. I freaking love it, um, especially with how much I buy off there, um, you know, how many products. Anyway, my Mac is going to sleep. Wake up, Mr. Macintosh. Wake up. All right, that's it, guys. Check out my social links below the video. And do not forget to check out my iPod Touch giveaway. That will be happening on March 15th. So go there, click that link right below the video. Enter the giveaway, and I wish you all luck, and thank you so much for watching.